Hey, Wing. What's wrong? There is something wrong with my scope. The voltage display on the scope is double on what I have set up on my AFG. Oh. Did you check the channel termination? It could be an impedance mismatch. Channel termination? What do you mean? Well, Wing, most oscilloscopes have a 1 mega ohm input path. Some scopes offer dual input paths where you can switch between a 50 ohm and a 1 mega ohm. On the other hand, most AFGs terminate into a 50 ohm. This is designed to match with general BNC coax cables and common RF circuits which terminate into 50 ohms. So on the other hand, your, your oscilloscope which has a 1 mega ohm input path, you have your AFG which terminates into a 50 ohm, there's obviously an impedance mismatch there. This is what we call an impedance mismatch. Let's go on over to the whiteboard, I'll show you. So here's a simple circuit showing how the AFG is designed. There's a 50 ohm impedance here, which is designed specifically to match with the device under test, the load, which is commonly 50 ohms, um, which is like coax cable and common RF circuits. So when we want to see two volts at our device under test, the AFG in reality generates four volts here. This is because there's a one-to-one -one ratio of 50 ohms, 50 ohms. And so if we apply voltage divider theory, roughly half the source will show up here, which is the expected two volts at our device under test. However, when we connect our AFG to our oscilloscope, which has a one mega ohm input path, one mega ohms is a lot larger than the 50 ohm impedance here. So most of our source will actually end up across the one mega ohm if we apply voltage divider rule again. So that's why you get double the expected voltage at your device under test when you connect your oscilloscope. So what if my scope doesn't have a 50 ohm termination? How can I like adjust the, the setting and how can I make sure that I'm seeing the correct voltage that I set on my AFG? Well, there's a couple options. In most cases, a 50 ohm feed through terminator applied to the scope's input terminates the input signal into 50 ohms. So there you can see the peak to peak was halved and it's now the desired amount as the FG. Now what if you don't have this feed through terminator? What do you do? Well, most AFGs here have an output mode called high Z mode which stands for high impedance mode. So you can now see that it's four volts peak to peak, which was what was originally showing up here. Four volts peak to peak. Oh, Mr. Saw, thank you so much.